Hello everybody, welcome back to my fourth, or excuse me, fifth installment of Super Metroid 100% speedrun. Uh, let's get into it and uh, see what we can't do today. Alright, uh, last time we left off we had just defeated Crocmire, or Crocomire, or whatever you want to call him. So let's see. Um, now there's a, something that I need to do over here. Um, I need to open up this door, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shine a spark through it, and you'll see why in a moment. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Just meant to turn around. So let's see. Now normally I need the uh, grappling beam launch on, or to grab onto that enemy there to swing me over here, but instead I can just fly through like that, and it gets me... My first set of power bombs, which I'm not supposed to have yet. I'll make a comment when I actually get to where I'm supposed to get them, but it's not going to be for a little bit. All right. Let's go refill on some of my missiles and bombs and such. can never have too many missiles in this game. That's, that's one thing. Always make sure you're up on your ammo. Especially because you never know when you're going to need to open a door. We're going to open that door ahead of time. We're going to come back in there later. We're not going to worry about it right now, though. I'm going to come back on the way back up. Alright. Uh, there's a couple things to do in this room. Uh, first things first. Um, I, I do this a little bit differently than some other people do, but um, if you if you want, you jump down here, shine spark straight up, and slide yourself over from this. So some people just jump um, over past it and do a shine spark up. It's just easier for me to do it that way. Um, but you can also just jump and then shine spark in midair straight up and not get hurt by the uh, the uh, lava there. So. And then the other thing you can do is jump straight across and uh, find the grappling beam right there. Alright. Now normally what you'd want to do to avoid the lava is going up top, um, using the grappling beam and going through a whole long series of rooms, but they're pointless. So we're going to do a short charge over here, run and jump as far as we can. Unfortunately, get hit, so we're gonna hit the lava a little bit, but that's okay because we're not gonna get hit too bad. And just go back the way we came. And we're gonna hit up to that room we just opened earlier. Alright, now what we wanna do is we wanna build up a, uh, whoops, we wanna build up a shine spark right before that uh, opening there um, and uh, we're going to shine spark over to where we need to go in this room and I can't get it for some reason so let's try it again there we go just easier to avoid the uh, spikes that way the spikes in the lava and all that stuff even though I hit the lava like five times trying to get that charged up but just to show you what uh, you can do. Oh wow, I cannot jump. Alright, I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> Get a little bit of health and stuff back up, hopefully. Because I'm almost dead. And dying will severely uh, damage my ability to complete this run. So, that's all we need for right now. We don't need to spend too much time. Uh, takes a, a little bit of time. Now, you can shine spark up from here, um, or you can wall jump. Um, most of the time, I wall jump, but I might just have to shine spark. Okay, let's try this again. 
Okay, now it's working. You know what I think it is? I think I'm pressing too many buttons on my controller at once. And it's not letting me actually input the right things. So I'll have to try to figure that out in an upcoming episode. It makes me feel better, though. Because I thought I was pretty good at wall jumping, but... Um, this time it might actually be the controller. Hey, hey. How do you know? And we're just going to come back up through uh, the way we came up through uh, Clockmire's room here. Alright, um, but we're not going to go out the way we came through here. We're, instead, we're going to go up all the way through to the top door here. And this time we are going to use the grappling beam. Go across here. And get us some more missiles and a, uh, a green gate. Just like the uh, green doors, you gotta use the super missiles for them. And we're back up and out. So now, we need to head towards the wrecked ship. That's gonna be our next destination. Now, one of the things I could go get right now, I could go to the... Uh, back to Crade's area. There's a set of missiles over there that you need the power bombs to get. I can go ahead and get those now, but they're easier to get when I, you have the, the jump ball. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait for that. Um, it's not too much quicker with the jump ball, but it's just easier. You don't have to time a, a perfect jump and then roll into a ball move like you normally do. So. I'm going to test my theory on the uh, controller again here, see, see how well I can do on the uh, wall jumping up the, uh... yeah, see that's definitely got to be the controller, if, if I can do it like, like that right now. Oh yeah, okay. I'm straight on that now. Okay. We're going to head back up this shaft that we couldn't before. Or shouldn't have before because we didn't have the uh, ice beam. I'm sure it would have been possible for us to do so, but it just wouldn't have been easy. And we'll head through this room here. Uh, if you fall in those little uh, mouth things, they'll start chewing you up, cause a, a good amount of damage. So avoid that. I think the last thing we're going to do on this video is we're going to head down here and I'm going to show you where originally you would get the uh, power bombs. So normally you'd go into this room. It's got these guys that you're supposed to, to freeze to get past. And then sitting there on the statue for you are your power bombs. But we're ahead of the game. Set another power bomb there, clears out that wall for another set of missiles. Alright, this is where I'm going to leave you today. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you tune in next time for Super Metroid, uh, Let's Play Super Metroid 100% Speedrun, Part 6.